and welcome back to this, the latest episode of Lisburn Solely Television for Season 2019-20, which this week features highlights from our recent game at Ironman City, a Player of the Month interview, and also news of an important event coming up shortly at the club. So with one league game down and one league win secured in our opening fixture, it was with little wonder that confidence was high as we headed off to Holm Park to take on Armagh City on our second league game of the season last Saturday. After their poor season last year, many thought Armagh would struggle again this time round, but having started the season with a battling 2-2 draw at Mildo Park last week, there were certainly signs that this game was going to be a lot tougher than many people imagined. Let's see how the Whites got on. Here's the highlights. So disappointment then for the Whites and a result that really brings us back down to earth with a bump. Individual errors, a team performance that was disjointed and once again lack of creation of chances meant we get absolutely nothing for a game which on paper was definitely winnable. Looking now at the other results in the Bluefin Sports Premier and Division League last Saturday, newly promoted Bangor got their season off to a winning start by beating Banbridge Town 2-0 thanks to goals from Barry Walsh and Ben Hart. And the United made two wins from two games played as they defeated Moyola Park 2-0 thanks to strikes from Gordon and MacDonald. And a special mention here to referee Louise Thompson. I'm not sure if this is the first time we've had a female referee in a men's Irish League game but 
Maybe you know. Maybe you can let us know on that one. Former the story striker Gary Leggett bagged a hat trick at Dollingstown 5 0 romp at Lima Valley United, whilst in the final game of the day, Tobermore came back from two goals down to share the spoils to each with Port Stewart. Looking now at the league table, it's Anna United leading the way in six points, with recently relegated Lima Valley United propping up the table. The Stillery's defeat sees us drop to seventh place in the standings. So over to Stillery then, it's back to the drawing board. Put this one down to a bad day at the office, and let's get back to winning ways this Saturday against Bloomfield in the Stevenson's Cup. More about that game shortly, but for now it's time to move on to the first presentation of the Dunville's Whiskey Player of the Month. The first one of the Dunville's Whiskey Player of the Month, this time for August 2019, was striker Dara Rooney. David Hunter caught up with Dara after the game at Arma on Saturday to get his take on winning the award, and here's what Dara had to say. Uh, hello everyone, welcome back to a new season, and of course that means there will be a Dunville's Whiskey Player of the Month. Uh, this is the first game in September, so we're delighted to announce that today the Dunville's Player uh, sorry, the Dumbo's Whiskey Player of the Month for August is Dara Rooney. Um, Dara, congratulations first of all. Um, we had the presentation earlier. I noticed a broad smile on your face. I think it's fair to say you're very happy to have picked up the award for August. Yeah, I think there was a number of a number of candidates and um, with a good August we were undefeated, so uh, defensively we were very sound, so I was happy to get it. Started off well, uh, Crumlin United in the Steen Suns Cup. Two goals there. Could have been three. Um, goal ruled out for offside, which probably wasn't, but good start to the season for you. Yeah, it was good to get going with, with two goals. Um, Cumberland were, were a good side and they, they penned us back for a large part of the second half, but we reacted well and I was lucky enough to get the two goals, but defensively we were very good that game and it was, it was a good team performance. Okay, it's a bit of a bizarre season. The, the Whites kicked off on the uh, 24th of August. We don't have a home game until now, the 21st of September. There's a long, long way to go, a lot of football to be played. What are you looking forward to f uh, from the season, Dara? Just going for, firstly going for the league. And I think we have a really strong squad, so we couldn't go the distance last year, but I think this year we have a really good chance. And then there's three or four really good cups that we can get a good run in. So, good cup run and a push for promotion. Okay, Dara, congratulations winning the, the first Dunbell's Whiskey Player of the Month Thank of the season. Our thanks once again to Shane Braniff and his award winning team down at the Eckham with Distillery. This is now the third year that they have sponsored the Player of the Month awards. We're delighted with that, the players are delighted and we'll be back again in the near future with the September Dunbell's Whiskey Player of the Month. Lisburn Distillery's annual golf day will take place this year on Sunday the 6th of October and will once again be held at Ballyclare Golf Club. The winner's title will be once again up for grabs for the golfer with the best score and also for prize for nearest the pin and longest drive competitions. Prices remain unchanged from last year to take part and that's £40 per person which includes a meal after the competition. There's also a whole sponsorship available for £200 which includes a free four ball and meals for that sponsor and individual hold sponsorships also available without the four ball offer at a cost of £50 per hole. Supporters who do not wish to play but would like to attend the meal can do so for a cost of £15 per person. And further details on this great event can be found on the club website and social media. So that's it for this edition of LDTV. But before you go, just a short reminder that Lisburn and Story do return to action this Saturday, September the 14th, when they resume Steel and Sons Cup action with an away game at Bloomfield FC. Kick off on that one's at 2.30pm, so just be aware of the early time. Thank you so much for joining us today and hopefully we'll see you all again soon. Until the next time, I've been Colin Hopkins. Bye for now.